Okay, so in this example you want to use a texture as a decal or a painting on the wall, but you don't want to create a whole other model to hold the painting. Uh, so I'll show you a couple of things that will happen here. Uh, first, if we go to Shape, Mechanical, and Apply Coating, I'm going to select this outside wall here. I'll go to Textures, and we'll go to uh, Paintings. And here we'll grab a Van Gogh painting. And as you can see, this Van Gogh painting scales around everything. If I say Auto Axis, for example, and I unwrap U and I unwrap V, what we're left with is a single copy of the Van Gogh painting, but it wants to try to still stretch along the wall. And to show you what that's going to look like, if we say Apply, it takes the colors at the edge of each photo and kind of bleeds them out. Okay? Now, you don't want to do that. You just want the Van Gogh painting to be there and let the rest of the color behind just be behind. So what we're going to do is we're going to cheat a little bit. We're still going to create a piece of geometry, but hopefully this will allow you to cheat and be happy with it. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is create a new coordinate system. This is going to be a coordinate system on a face and a point, and the point is going to be center of that edge. Why not? Set that current, and here I'm going to go create a rectangle, and that rectangle is going to be 36 inches by, we'll say, 24. Okay? And I'm going to say that that is going to be located, and this is my zero right now, remember, at zero and x and maybe minus 24 and y. So here we have that. Now what I want to do is I'm going to do a function called imprinting. So I'm going to imprint on this model with this profile, and I'll just say normal to that face and say OK. And what that does is that actually divides up what used to be one face into two faces based on that profile. So now we have an individually sized face on the wall. And then we can go ahead and apply a coating here. So in this case, we're going to go choose, again, same picture, why not? And we'll go to here and say auto axis. And let's just see where it's at to start with. Okay? So, like that. Looks like we're going to have to move it down a little bit, over a little bit. So let's go modify. So modify element, select it, modify coding. And here, we're going to unwrap and unwrap. Or, heck, you can leave it wrapped for all that matters. Play with your stretching. And then shift things till you get them how you want them set. So you can see it being modified back there. Looks like I just need to shift it up in Y as well a little bit. Let's go do that. And like that, we have our photo on the wall. So hopefully this gives you a better idea of how to control this a little bit. Okay?